It's Friday, July 15, 2016, and we're concluding our discussion of Psalm 91, but I'd like to read the whole chapter, beginning at verse 1. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has sent his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. So we're taking just a moment to look at this last phrase, the 16th verse, and it says, and show him my salvation. There are many definitions for the word show. It is demonstrate, illustrate, prove, confirm, exhibit, reveal. I love the last one because as we live a long life and we're satisfied in the long life as we talked about yesterday, God makes us happy. It keeps us happy. He's pleased with us. Even earlier we found out when we we abide in the directions of the of the Lord God Almighty. He, he honors us. It says, I'll show him. I'll reveal to him. He will get to experience my deliverance, my salvation, my life that I promised him. I will show him. I will exhibit my salvation to him. Now, this word salvation is, is huge for us because... It's God who is our refuge, God who is our fortress, God who is our protection, God who is our deliverer. It's God who's our shield. It's God who's our buckler. He's all these things. In other words, he who began the work in us to bring us to himself, to finish life and finish strong and do it well, he'll complete it. He's going to complete the work he started. He's not going to abandon us or leave us to ourselves. He says, I will show him my salvation. I will reveal. I will exhibit. I will see the salvation of God. Wow. You and I, we're going to get to see Jesus face to face because we're following after him. We've made some right choices We've repented of our sin. We've made an about face. We've mortified the deeds of our flesh. We've said no to sin and yes to God. And he says, because of that, because you made me your refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place, because you set your love upon me, you fixed your love upon me, you're more attracted to me than anything else in life. And because you know my name, because my name is greater than the rest of the universe put together. I'm going to show you my salvation. You're going to get the reward. Today I want you to understand, the promise of God is real. You're going to get to see Jesus face to face. Glorify God for that today. Think about it. Meditate on it. Look up some more scripture about it. Because you're going to get to see the King of Kings. You're going to get to spend eternity with him on assignment from God. Let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, thank you for this powerful chapter. What a great time we've had just talking through it together. Oh, God, today, bless us as we pursue you, as we set our love upon you. Show us today you're our deliverer. Help us understand this clearly and plainly, and we rejoice in it even ahead of time in faith and in trust in you, the living God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day today because you've linked arms and hands with Jesus Christ.